Hey there, friends. Got a TTG reaction for you with Riding the Dragon. Well, there it is, the dragon. <laughs> so, worry. Oh, they... Oh. Actually, same. But if I was on the dragon, I'd flop off immediately. Or the dragon would eat me. <laughs> <laughs> now she's riding the dragon. So I was wondering what this fantasy looking setting was going on though. Cyborg had a sword and everything, but now they're riding the dragon. Where's Robin on all this? Is Robin gonna be like, no, 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 as usual? <laughs> oh, they actually got a song. <laughs> That dragon is so cute, though. Oh, oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is going Wait. On here? We're playing this awesome game called Dragon Spy. They were playing a game the entire time. It's really cool. We pretend to ride like an RPG. Ride the dragon with us. <laughs> uh, I'd love to, except you're playing it completely wrong. Oh. So they were playing a board game, a little RPG, a little fantasy world right there. And, you know, I'm pretty sure they're supposed to slay the dragon, but they want to ride the dragon. It's a much more wholesome ending than just killing it, you know? I mean, they were having a lot of fun, though. Their imagination was off the charts. This game has a strict set of rules that must be... Oh, the D&D &D book? Rules, bro. <laughs> we just want to get lost in the magic of a fantasy world, yo. Yeah, they we were having the fun their own way. Experience a magical, fantastic Not the blah. Leave you frothing with joy. I wish to do Oh, the goodness. Let's <laughs> <Ew. laughs> magical, bro. All right. <laughs> step on your magical adventure is to fill these out. Oh, the character <laughs> sheets. <laughs> The character, okay, so I guess they're really going to play Dungeons and Dragons. Is this episode trying to say that D&D &D is boring? I mean, there is a lot of, pay, you know, you got to fill out your character sheet and whatnot. And then, you know, you got, the, you, got the, you got the Dungeon Master, the DM, which I'm guessing might be Robin. And everybody else plays the game. The games are long, but with the imagination, it's a lot of fun. Homework. Boring. <laughs> this is a worksheet to calculate your character skills using basic mathematics. Man, I mean, you know our brains can't do math magics. <laughs> can anyone's brains do it? That we can do. Oh. Oh, that's so cute. I'm a horrible monster hiding under Oh. Hold on. We've seen that design before. We've seen that design before. But I'm really curious to see how this is going to go. If Robin's going to be the DM and everybody else is their own character trying to ride that dragon, this could either go crazy or crazy. Oh. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. Oh. Hold on, though. <laughs> Man, that's awesome, but I love that Cyborg's and R Starfire's designs, and I think, be I think all their designs are based off a previous episode. Like, I know that it was a story that featured Raven's character, and she made friends with Starfire, Cyborg, and Beast Boy, and Robin was an elf, and then Raven attacked everybody because they were annoying. Yeah, that's the one difference. Robin was an elf, a small, tiny little goblin elf. But Robin clearly has played a lot of D&D. &D. He knows what he's doing, though. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> now, I've crafted a magical adventure for us that involves some pretty exciting I stuff. I hope it's exciting, though. No. Oh. Necromancers. Oh. No. The, ew. Better. Never. Never the fairies. A key. A just a key. Robin, come on. I knew you'd be excited. Let's get started. Really? Really, Robin? You seem like you know all your DD &D stuff, but you're really making the quest boring? The point of the DM is to make the story exciting. You make up the story and you guide your you guide the adventurers through your story. Basically, 
it's a lot of storytelling, a lot of ad-libbing, and having the thought process to know what happens right away. So it's like, if you're fighting a goblin, the DM is supposed to give you all the possibilities of what happens when fighting that goblin, you know? Whether you win or you lose. Our party travels upon the D&D is just really cool. Through the ancient forest of Thalagapahin. The, the, the name. <laughs> Sharing the Haga? The forest. Your party's in the forest. Thank you, thank you, Robin. Huh? I want to climb some trees. You can do that if you want. No, oh, yeah. I said I want to climb trees. <laughs> in this game, these dice determine your every action. That they do, tree, that they do. Control the dice. Uh, fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ha, I'm number one. That's good, right? Oh no. When you roll a D twenty, if you get a one, that's the worst outcome. And if you get the twenty, if you get a twenty, a nat twenty, that's the best outcome right there. So the point of the DM is to see what happens when you roll the die, and the story goes along with what happens when rolling the die. So let's say if you're climbing up a tree, you get a one. You fall off the tree, you get a twenty. You successfully climbed the tree. You got a good view of everything on the field. You see? Storytelling. Ooh, no, that is the worst number. Hyena falls from the tree, oh. puts his head on a branch, and gets a concussion. Oh. oh. I wish to search for the berries. What a crazy Ooh. first turn. Oh, another one? Berries, but hits her head on a branch oh. and gets a concussion. Why is everybody getting concussions? Yeah, it's <laughs> magical. The body you keep killing the magic with all this more stuff. I told you the game has a strict set of rules. Forget well, they that. were. I'm gonna find a dragon. Oh, I love these designs though. Like they look so cute. I love Beast Boys the best. Like he's just a hyena. He's so adorable. But yeah, but it just seems like the guy, the t the team doesn't want to play D and D. They were just having fun riding a dragon the entire time. D and D is fun, but they don't want to play D and D. They just want to ride that dragon. Not. I told you to play by the rules. You're ruining everything. <laughs> Wait. Wait, ex excuse me? When did this become Jumanji? When did everything become real? What the heck? That's all. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'd imagined I'd be a little taller than this. Oh my goodness, Robin's the elf. He's the elf from the story. <laughs> Imagine they actually gave him the Night Slasher look and everything, and he actually looks like Night Slasher, but no, they gave him the elf. He's just an elf. But everybody looks great. <laughs> yeah, they, they're not gonna learn. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously, we're now stuck in here because you didn't follow the rules of the game. Oh, so, goodness. When you said the game was magical. You meant, like, for real? Apparently. Dragons, what did you expect? This is actually pretty cool. We can see a dragon for real. Oh. Oh. I mean, that is true, too. They can all have fun riding the dragon, but can you imagine if every D&D game you play is real? I mean. They, they literally, it's like reverse Jumanji, where instead of the game popping out and becoming real, they all went inside the game. It's literally just reverse Jumanji. And the only way to get out is to win, I, I think, right? Absolutely not. That's oh. the kind of imaginative excitement that got us into this mess. But like, it looks out. fun, doesn't it? The original adventure and find the key. We'll start where all great adventures start. Oh, the inn. You gotta get your info and whatnot, right? Not a greasy motel. Oh, bunch of goblinos. Good morrow, my lords and gentlefolk. Yeah, that, that, that's not a good start right there, Robin. That's not a good start. They, they are a unruly bunch right there. Yeah, I think the one on the floor wants to eat you. Oh, I guess it was good enough. All right. Oh, Beast Boy looks so scared. Oh. Hark! Oh. Oh, how vicious we talking? Oh. 
It's always rat. It's always rat. If there's enemies in the basement, it's always rat. It's always gotta be rat. But hopefully they'll find that dragon soon. This episode better end with everybody riding that dang dragon. It's gotta have a happy ending at least, you know? Or Robin getting eaten by that dragon. It's gotta have a happy, happy, happy ending though, right? So? They just dipped. They were gonna go <laughs> find a <laughs> dragon anyway. Oh, you'll see something magical, all right. Oh boy, killing rats, right? Oh. Steady yourselves. I got this. That's a mud bros. Oh. I don't think he's got the animal talking skill. I told you we'd see something magical. Look at the size of those rats. You, 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 wait, you. Wait, that's supposed to be magical? Those are the size of rats in New York City. There's nothing magical about those rats. That's just how big rats are in New York City. They're just that big. So nothing magical about that. That's just rats right there. But if Beast Boy had the skill of talking to other animals, maybe he could have talked to them. Maybe a rule of the dice could have gave him a good chance. But nope. They're just enemies. They're enemies. They're bad. They're bad rats. Oh. Wait, what? Well, I can't attack him. Why do you? Of course you can't. You have to roll the dice to attack. The dice yeah. have to work in here too. Another one. Uh, this dice is broken. Now the rats get to roll. What do you mean the rats get to roll? What? Ten. Excuse bad. me. The rats have to roll too. <laughs> oh. Oh, nice. But. I, I love that even in a world where, you know, you have the weapon and everything, you can't do a thing until you roll the dice to attack. But I love that the rats have to roll for their turn, too. Like, what is this, Baldur's Gate 3? <laughs> oh. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> That's all it does? <laughs> Wow! That's all she can do. Oh! Whoa! You can just do that? Dang! Hold up, though. You mean I can do that at any time? You mean instead of being a level one fishy flopper, I could just become a level one hundred tuna king, king tuna? And all I have to do is write two zeros on my paper? I could have done that the entire time instead of getting eaten every game I play. Every D&D game I play, I always get eaten by the rats every single time. All I do is a splash attack. It does nothing. I'm a freaking magic carp. And yet it worked. <laughs> I can't believe this. People making rules, messing up everything. Isn't that the point of D&D? There appears to be a secret passage from where the rats came. It doesn't look to be a secret. It's a giant door. Oh. Whoa! Oh, wait, what? Wait, why are they skipping them, though? Oh. Okay, come on. That really just stinks right there. Robin is really taking the fun out of the game, though. The point of D&D is to have fun with your imagination, doing all sorts of crazy and wacky things, and lots of shenanigans. So many shenanigans. The point of D&D is to make the DM, aka Robin, the dungeon master, go crazy. The point is the player is for the players to make the DM go mad because the players try to break the game and the DM, their brain, goes out of control because they're trying to make the story make sense when the players go out of control, you know? I mean, none of these players have tried seducing the rat. Why hasn't anyone thought about, you know, kissing the rat or something like that? Where's the, where's the love? Where's that kind of stuff? Oh my goodness. <laughs> but this song though. In the dungeon, gotta find the key, find the key. Doors, 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 doors. Who knows what awaits us beyond this door another door they went through so many cool things it's like oh yeah we got a short episode we could we could do the necromancer thing we could do the party 
Sorry, no can do. We gotta find that stupid thing. I don't want to see those fairies. Massages from jellyfishes? Won't they just sting you? Oh, wait, dragon! I think it'll eat your head, Robin. It really is just a normal dang key. Oh. I mean, that's the point of their game. They do want to ride the dragon, though. If any head is going to be eaten, I'm betting it's Robin, though. Just for that plain car key. We skipped through so many things. Let them play with the dragon, though. That's what we're here for. We're here for them to ride the dragon. Just for one tiny minute. Absolutely not. <laughs> well, that is a straight up dragon that we could be riding right now. He's right. Yeah, you said this world is full of magic, <laughs> but we ain't done nothing but roll dices and fight rats. <laughs> That's a game. And we could be doing that from the comfort couch but no you had to use your dumb imaginations and look where that got it got them to having fun it got them to having fun that's the point of the game robin what kind of game were you playing the entire time the point of dnd is to use your imagination to have fun using your mind what kind of game was robin playing did he get kicked out of every dnd group he was in for taking the magic out of dnd the magic is the imagination what kind of stinking game was he playing? Oh. The dragon awakens. Oh. Oh. Um, yes, they broke the oh. What? Robin's the issue, of course. Dang. I can't believe it. Robin is being told to by a dragon, though. Out of everybody to be taught this lesson, it's the freaking dragon themselves. Also, why does this remind me of the real magic episode? You know, when Robin did all this real magic and Raven's like, that's not real magic. But then, yeah, so it's, it's all real magic. That all the magic Raven was doing was all demon magic while the magic Robin was doing was real magic. So, yeah. It's like, it just feels like that, but with Robin taking the magic away from the game. Oh, Let's do it. Ride that dragon. Oh. Come on, do it, Robin. Oh. I'm riding the dragon. And it's fun! There we go! <laughs> okay. This is great, though. You see? They, they, they rode the dragon, but they didn't really ride the dragon. Is it really riding the dragon if the dragon just stays still when... There's like a freaking clickbait arrow pointing at him saying, that's the dragon. That's what you came here for. You came here to watch the, the dang dragon. All right, they start moving, dragon. Why aren't you moving? Congratulations. <laughs> and now you fry. Oh. Oh. They actually got burned. Damn. <laughs> oh goodness i'm sorry sorry that got me that i don't know why just the pause at the end was just really funny like yeah they, yeah that that was real so yeah they're out of the game they got they they lost they just lost the game right there and since they lost the game, you also lost the game. Aha. But either way, I do, I did enjoy this episode. It's basically just a big nerdy D&D episode. But with Robin not realizing that the magic is the imagination, you have to imagine the game. And he was making the game pretty boring by looking for a key, fighting rats. That's all normal stuff. The point in D&D is to go crazy with these things. Go through a forest. There's many paths to choose from. But Robin was just leading them 
leading them through one path just to find a car key or something like that. But yeah, the point of D&D is to have like endless possibilities for the D for the dungeon master to think up every time you do something. Like, for example, you could just say, oh, I seduced the goblin and the goblin loves me. Now the goblin joins the party. Now you just have a random goblin in the party. The DM has to make a story that includes the goblin now. You can just go crazy with that. And if you're good with your dice rolls, yeah, you can con you can control the game your way. The point in D&D is to be reckless, to be crazy, to use your imagination to the fullest. You can have a normal boring game or just have a crazy nonsensical story that goes on for weeks, but everybody's having a good time, you know? D&D is a lot of fun. If you haven't given it a shot, give the game a shot. There were games like that for consoles and PC, like Baldur's Gate 3. I've heard Baldur's Gate 3 is a great, like, D&D kind of game where you do... where you do that, where you do stuff like that. Yeah, so many amazing games out there, and I'm glad that more people are getting into D&D, but... I do hope that this episode did get people into D&D. I do love that there are episodes referencing games like this and Oregon Trail. And also we had that retro video game episode a long time ago where, you know, Robin was Mario and then he got a concussion from hitting the block too much. But yeah, this was a very fun episode. I'm glad they got to ride the dragon, but... Yeah, they fried. They fried. They lost. That was it. That was really funny, though. I enjoyed it. Hope you did as much as I did. Hope you did as well. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment about what you think, and subscribe if you haven't. I'll catch you next time.